Hey, I'm Adam, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the differences between the new Fluke II-910 and the Fluke II-900 we introduced in 2019. While they look virtually identical, there are a few differences that are important to understand. The first difference is the frequency range. While the II-900 can visualize sounds from 2 to 52 kilohertz, the II-910 goes all the way up to 100 kilohertz. This increased range will help you identify some of the most challenging compressed air, gas, or vacuum leaks. For example, in situations where you need to visualize leaks of low density gases, or you suspect small leaks at low flow rates. The II-910 also has an increased operation distance. So while the II-900 can identify leaks from about 50 meters away, the II-910 is able to visualize leaks as much as 120 meters away. With the wider frequency range and the increased sensitivity on the II-910, it also unlocks new application potential, like electrical partial discharge detection. Being able to detect early signs of partial discharge in high frequency ranges will help you plan your maintenance schedule and keep track of changes in severity. Another difference on the II-910 is the reporting functionality. Like the II-900, the 910 has leak Q mode, which indicates the severity of compressed air and gas leaks you find and provides you with a report detailing the estimated cost. But the II-910 also has what's called PDQ mode. PDQ mode provides you with in-depth information about the partial discharge leaks that you find with the imager. Both have a 7-inch display and the same easy-to-use interface, including the interactive frequency slider to remove any background noise, making it extremely easy to identify partial discharge in large noisy areas like substations, or to visualize small air, gas, and vacuum leaks on a factory floor. So in summary, the II-910 gives you everything that you'll find in the II-900, as well as an increased range in frequency and better sensitivity to help you find leaks at a greater distance even in noisy environments. Thanks for watching, and for more information, visit fluke.com.